07 was our first production year. We've been doing the tasting out of the production facility. Um, first time we were able to taste was July of 08 when that very first vintage came out. We had sold out of that vintage by November of 08 that year. And that was out of the production building. Oh god, the new tasting room. Well, this actually, the whole facility was sawed by Amish craftsmen in northern Indiana. Beam Barnes is who designed and kind of we got this idea from. You go to their plot and they've got ten barns and you go, oh, I like that, and I like that, and I like that. And then we have a fabulous architect, Fred Campbell, who put our dream together. <laughs> and it was a lot of planning. But everything is Amish crafted and Tim King actually is a local as well. He did all the construction for this. Everything is a Michigan cedar. Um, we also used the old corrugated metal from the barn roof that we had imported originally to use as the tasting room. But due to coding and legalities, we weren't able to use that facility. Um, we ended up, we still wanted to have an essence of that barn feel in here as well. Um, and with all the wood, the, we needed another <laughs> texture and the corrugated metal, they got sandblasted and it, it's been absolutely perfect, the balance between the wood and, and the metal. Mm -hmm. um, Steve had decided in 06 that he wanted to do something active with his semi-retirement, <laughs> which it has not been a retirement at all. Um, but he wanted to do something and also bring economy to Michigan. And what better than doing what you love and drinking what you love and making what you love? He got into growing grapes and making wine. Our first production year was in 2007, and we had been out of the production building until February 20th when we moved to this new facility. And from, from here on before, we've always had to buy our grapes from other local vintners. Last year, because of the bad growing season that Michigan in general had, we did actually have to go out west. Um, we got quite a few grapes from Santa Barbara, Yakima, the Willamette Valley, um, and did some blending. And we were still able to, from the Michigan Appalachian, from Old Mission, we got a Blanc de Pinot Noir and a Gewürztraminer. We just sent those out to the Pacific Rim International Competition and both took gold. Solely made from Michigan grapes which is very exciting personally for us because our land is, like I said, yeah. on an easement with the Lima Conservancy. So the more we can be promoting Michigan and have that industry come here, and we can actually make wine in Michigan, which <laughs> they don't give us a lot of credit for. Um, this year actually would have been our first year we could have done fruiting for our vine because of the horrible year last year. <laughs> we got set behind about another two years. Um, if if we were to fruit this year in the long run, it was, yeah, it's going to hurt us. Um, so we've waited one more year. I have to say that this year was, you know, everybody from the middle of last year was saying that the 09 season, if you can produce good wine out of the 09 year, you're separating the men from the boys. And Dave Hill, our winemaker, has done an amazing job this vintage. Everything for us strenuous and hard as the growing season was, he has produced a full line of clean, consistent, fruit forward, more tropical, still has a nice acidity, but without being flat, and trying to keep them as dry in the sugar content as we can. Well, our signature wine in the past and currently has been our Pinot Noir Rosé. Um, as I've worked under you know, uh, with Sean in the past, he's basically what put this wine on the map for us and in Michigan in general, to my understanding. And um, this year's release, we're calling it a Blanc de Pinot Noir, it's essentially the Pinot Noir Rosé. It is 100% Pinot Noir and is, you know, keeping that tradition going of uh, being one of our flagship wines. Blanc de Pinot Noir, that has been our biggest seller. Last year, the 08 Pinot Noir Rosé was what it was called. It went out to the Pacific Rim International Competition out of 954 reds that it was entered in because they didn't have a rosé category at that competition. It took best red overall. They then had to go back and make a rosé category. 
we sent this year's out there as well, in its first year of being an actual category in the Pacific Rim International Competition, we took gold again, and the Peach Cremant. Um, the Peach Cremant is 72% white wine, our 45 white, and 28% um, for, uh, fresh peach juice from Kevin Versnyder. And those are definitely our two biggest sellers. The direction that we're looking to go in is really to promote the local industry um, and to show what the, the area has to offer as far as the terroir of the grapes that are produced in the area and really um, essentially you know, put Michigan in a box. We have a great time. We love what we do. It is an experience to come to this facility to see the acreage, to see the production facility, to see the new tasting room, and that our staff all cares that this is what they want to go into in their future is viticulture or enology, and that it's not just a day job, it's not just a summer job. They don't clock out. Um, Every every moment that you're here, we do try to engage you completely and fully. We're not snobbish. We're here to teach you and, and get you to love wine in general. For those who have never been to a wine tasting room before, I say that this should be your absolute first stop.